in this lecture we are going to be carrying out uh arp spoofing my in the middle attack uh, we have uh, already seen theoretically what um, arp spoofing among in the middle attack is now in this lecture we are going to actually carry out a man uh, arp spoofing my in the middle attack against a windows uh, windows host that is connected to the same network as the kali linux attacking machine and we are going to put ourselves in the middle of the two devices that is uh the router gateway and the uh windows uh, 10 host machine so uh the first thing uh, that we are going to do uh let's go to the windows machine and run the arp a and then see uh so i'm going to launch this uh terminal here so let me clear this uh, screen so uh now when we run the uh, arp table this is a command for uh getting the arp table of any uh computer either linux or windows when you run this command arp a you are going to see the arp arp table now uh, now what happened is that every computer save it is uh arp cache the uh, that is what we call the arp table it save an arp cache that map ip addresses to mac uh address so uh beside each ip address like in this one we can see 10.0.2.1 and beside it we can see the associated uh mac address that is associated with that particular ip address so when this computer wants to communicate with 10.0.2.1 it is going to use this mac address that is that has been mapped to the ip address in the rp cache of that particular computer system now when we perform arp swapping we can we are, we are going to see that the the mac address beside the gateway that is having the ip address of 10.0.2.1 is going to change to the mac address of the car linux attacking machine that we are perform carrying out the arp spoofing uh, attack on so let's go back to the car linux attacking machine now uh they uh, and, and also uh, for us to be able to carry out this attack the both computers have to be on the same network so if the computers are not on the same network your attack will not be successful so we have already performed uh how to break into a network so uh, at this stage we have already broken into the network now we are at the network we have known the we have seen the computers we have used a map to discover the hosts that are connected to this particular subnet and now we want to attack one of these computer systems that is uh, that is connected to the same network as our Kali Linux attacking uh, attacking machine. So uh, and then we are know the IP address. Do uh, we have used a map and we have known all the IP addresses of the computers that are connected. So this is just one of the computers that is connected to this uh, particular network. And then we want to perform ARP spoofing mind the middle attack on it. So let me come here and then get the IP address. Uh, if config uh, ip config so we can see that it is having the ip address of 10.0.2.15 and the gateway is 10.0.2.1 and then let me go to the kali linux uh attacking machine and then i'll just come off here and to know the ip address of the kali linux i'll enter the command sudo if config and then i will hit enter so I'm going to specify my password. I'm going to put my password. All right, let me start with the password. All right, so as you can see, we have the IP address of the Kali Linux machine, 10.0.2.19. And then when we run the command also, uh, route dash, uh, dash n, we are going, all right, uh, sudo, uh, sudo uh, route dash n. We are going to see the gateway uh, IP, 10.0.2.1. Uh, so and it is having the similar gateway that uh, that the Windows uh, Windows 10 machine is also having, and we can also ping uh, Kali from the Windows 10, and we can also ping the Windows 10 from Kali to confirm that they are on the same network. So um, let me ping the Windows 10 machine, sudo uh, ping, and then I'm pinging the 10.0. Okay, so ping uh, C1. And then I'm pinging uh, 10.0.2.15, which is the IP address of the Windows uh, Windows 10 machine. So um, if my if my thing is successful, that means that we are on the same network with the Windows uh, 10 machine. So as you can see, our ping was successful. One packet transmitted. A uh, hundred packet loss. All right, hundred packet loss. Sorry. So let me go and confirm the uh, IP address. It wasn't successful. So what is wrong? What is happening? Okay. So one of the reasons for perhaps this uh 
the Windows 10 machine is behind a firewall. So if it is behind a firewall, we might experience such issue. So maybe a firewall is blocking our ping. So but now let me ping the Kali from this Windows uh, machine. So let me enter ping and then I'm going to put the IP address of the Kali 10.0.2.19. If our ping is successful, that means they are on the same network. Uh, perfect. So as you can see, we have sent four packets and we have received four packets so there is no any packet loss so this windows 10 is probably behind a firewall and it is it blocked our ping when we attempted pinging it from the kali linux attacking machine so that is all that we need to know we are on the same network that means now we can carry out arp spoofing in the middle attack against the windows 10 machine so let me clear my terminal to make it uh, wipe away everything now uh there is there is a tool kali linux comes with a tool called arp spoof that is used for carrying out ARP spoofing man in the middle attack. So um, we are going to make use of this tool and to make use of this tool to carry out uh, uh, ARP spoofing against the Windows uh, 10 machine and the gateway. I'm going to run the command like this. I'm going to enter sudo and then ARP spoof, which is the name of the tool. And then I'm going to specify the interface that this uh, ARP spoofing attack is going to be performed through which is the ETH0, which is the same interface that we have used to connect with the network that the Windows 10 is also connected to. And then I'm going to specify the target, the target of the spoof, uh, 10.0.2.1 and 10.0, uh, 10. Uh, sorry, 10.0.2. 2.15. So basically what I'm saying here, I am claiming to be the gateway to the uh, to the uh, Windows 10 machine. So when I run this command, now this command will execute and then go to the git, go to the Windows 10 machine and tell the victim, uh, tell the Windows 10 machine that I am the gateway. I'm the one with this address 10.0.2.1. So, uh, and then we have to run the same command again, but we are going to swap the values. We are going to exchange the uh, the IP addresses here. Instead, we are going to now claim that we are the, the Windows 10 machine to the gateway also. So, uh, when I run this command, or oh, let me split my screen first. Let me divide my, my terminal into two. So, I'll divide the terminal into two. All right, uh, so a compiler. So, let me clear the terminal. Uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, now run the same command, but I'm going to exchange the values sudo arp spoop, arp uh, spoop, and then I'm um, to do my interface eth0, and then my target are 10.0.2.15 and 10. Dot uh, 0.2.1 but so what happened in this case now i am telling the gateway that i am windows 10 machine now but in the first instance i'm telling the windows 10 machine that i am the gateway thereby i have spoof i have uh arp poison both the router gateway and the windows 10 victim machine so i'm going to enter enter the command here and then also run the command here here i'm specify my password and then the command will get running and then both the gateway and the windows 10 machine will get uh, uh arp spooked all right so and then we can confirm this by going to the windows 10 machine when i come, when I come to this windows 10 machine uh, remember this is our arp table that we initially run we can see the mac address that is associated with the this particular ip address 0.2.1 now let's run the same command again arp a and see what our arp table is going to look like so arp a and then c okay so as you can see the uh the mac address that is associated with the ip address standard 0.2.1 has changed to the mac address of the kali linux attack machine 08002784287 f now when i go to the kali machine uh when i go to the kali machine okay so uh all right so i have to uh, but that was the command we are run initially. Let me divide this part Kali so that I can have another space. That is one good thing about this time. You need to terminal, or uh, we can divide it into uh, uh, many parts that we wish. Okay, so uh, now let me run the command sudo if config and then I hit enter. Now let's look at the MAC address of that is associated with the interface ETH0. 
uh, eta. You can see 080027F842A7. Now, this is the same MAC address now that has been uh, associated with the gateway 10.0.2.1 and on the Windows end. So, our spoofing attack has been successful. Now, let's try to go to the website. Let's try to access our website. So, I've already assessed the website here. Let's try to assess another website. Let me close this. Uh, let's try to assess uh, YouTube and see what will happen. Uh, let me try to go to YouTube and see what is going to happen. So basically what is going to happen is that we are not going to have any internet connectivity. We cannot be able to assess the network connectivity because we have now put ourselves in the middle of the communication between the Windows 10 machine and the gateway. So uh, when Windows 10 machine want to access a resource from the internet, we all know what happens on a local area network. Now, when the Windows 10 machine wants to access the uh, internet, a resource from the internet, like YouTube now, it wants to access the website of YouTube. It is uh, We know that uh, the uh, a machine that is connected to a local area network cannot directly reach out to the uh, internet. It has to pass the request through the router gateway. Now, uh, when it makes a request to the gateway, since we are we are claiming that we are the gateway through ARP swooping, now the request will come to our Kali Linux attacking machine. But uh, Linux by default has a security feature that does not enable packet uh, that is coming from an uh, external source to get to pass through it. So that packet is going to be dropped. So uh, also uh, the router, if the router wishes to communicate with the Windows 10 machine, uh, if a packet com comes from the router, when it comes to our Kalidos attacking machine, the packet is going to be dropped. It will not be passed through. So for us to enable a packet coming from an external source to pass through our interface, then we have to enable what is called IP porting. So we have to run a command on the Kalidos attacking machine to enable IP pod. So that is what we are going to do. We just come to the Kali Linux uh, machine here and then run a command that will enable uh, IP pod. So I'm going to clear my terminal here. Uh, clear the terminal. And then now I'm going to run this command. So this command basically is just uh, uh, echo. I run echo. I'm going to pipe it. Echo 1. I'm going to. Okay, sorry. Uh, echo 1. And then I'm going to push it into this pile that is under this directory proc uh, sys uh, proxies uh, net ip bash on 4 uh, ip bash equal 1 proc into proxies net ip bash on 4 uh, and then ip forward uh, ip forward then i'll just hit enter okay permission denied so we might encounter an issue like this uh, bash permission denied. Now let's try using sudo uh, and see whether it's sudo because uh, this is a non root account. So let's accompany the command with sudo and then run the same command again and then run it and see what is going to happen. So I'll just hit enter. Still, we are having this issue. So when you have this issue, the way out of this issue, you just run this command like this. You just run sudo and then bash dash c. And then now you enclose the command within this uh, quotation, uh, echo one, and then you are pushing it into proc uh, sys uh, net uh, ifi version four, ifi forward, ifi, ifi uh, forward, so forward. And then now we close it, the quotation, and then hit enter. So you can see that our command has run successfully. Now, when we go to the Windows 10 machine, you will see that we will be able to uh, uh, access the internet right now. So let me try to access the site and see whether we'll be able to access YouTube. All right. So you can see that our we are our, we are our something is uh, reaching out to YouTube. Right, let's see whether the page will load. Let's see whether we eventually uh, the YouTube page will load. Whether our request will successfully get to the gateway, and then the gateway will get the YouTube web page, and then it uh, uh, bring back the web page and give it to the Windows 10 machine, and the Windows 10 machine will display it on the browser so that we see the web page of the uh, YouTube website. And there it is. Our YouTube page has successfully loaded. Uh, only that uh, we couldn't get the uh, the web page, but that uh, could be due to the 
internet uh, speed of the uh, of the router uh, okay so of the uh, maybe if we couldn't get a, a strong internet connectivity from the isp so i can refresh this i can refresh this but also compound we can go to the uh, our the terminal and see whether we could ping uh, any website whether we can ping the youtube to so you know that we have internet connectivity so let me think youtube.com uh, youtube uh, youtube.com and uh, let's see if we are able to ping it that means we have uh, internet connectivity all right so uh, as you can see perfect we sent four perfect uh, uh, uh we sent four path four five four packet and we received four five four pack packet as a response and we didn't lose any packet so that means that we have internet connectivity now we have internet connectivity as a result of running the ip porting command on the kali linux attacking machine so that means there's a pre flow packet now all the packets are passing through the kali linux machine and uh from the windows 10 machine through the kali linux attacking machine to the gateway and now when a when we receive a response from the gateway it has to pass through the interface of the kali linux attacking machine then back to the windows uh 10 target machine thereby placing us in the middle of the uh network communication so that is basically how a arp swapping work now in the next lecture we are going to see now in the now in the next lecture we are going to see how we can actually uh go to a website uh a http website and then if the user enter a login username and password we will be able to capture the password using a wireshark uh a protocol analyzer to snip packet and then uh, capture the packet and then read the username on the password that the victim machine transmitted using uh, any of the uh, any of the un unsecured uh, protocols that I use now like the HTTP or FTP protocol so uh, in this lecture we are going to end this lecture here now if you have a question please make sure you post you can post it under the forum uh, section and you will be at the question will be uh, attended to